According to the OPCW UN Joint Investigative Mechanism, on the morning of April 4, 2017, a chemical bomb suspected to contain sarin gas was dropped from an aircraft over the rebel hell Syrian town of Khan Shaikhoun. The bomb allegedly struck the middle of a road, creating a crater 1.5 to 1.65 meters in diameter and half a meter deep, and releasing sarin gas upon impact. Sarin is a highly toxic gas that can be inhaled, ingested, or absorbed through the skin. Once inside the body, it attacks the central nervous system. According to an April 7th report by the Idlib Health Directorate, the gas dispersed through the town, resulting in the deaths of 89 people, 33 of them children. 541 others were injured. UN investigators later released a report confirming evidence of sarin being dropped from a plane and stating the Syrian government, led by Bashar al-Assad, was responsible for the April 4th attack. But a controversial paper authored by MIT professor emeritus Theodore Postol and other experts is now challenging the mainstream narrative. Using computational forensic analysis on the crater, Postol et al. found that its size and shape, as well as damage to a pipe thought to be the sarin vessel, is inconsistent with an aerial bomb. Instead, detonation and impact simulations indicate that it may have been generated by a 122mm artillery rocket armed with a high-explosive warhead, a weapon the Syrian government does not have a monopoly on. This type of munition could not have been used as a delivery device for sarin, since based on the analysis, the rocket's volume would be used up by the propellant and the warhead. The split pipe identified as a sarin container by the Joint Investigative Mechanism is likely just the casing of the rocket motor that propelled the warhead to the explosion site. Postal et al. also analyzed photographic evidence of the crater, in particular two sets of images, one showing it with a red skeletal marker and one without. Advanced deterioration on the crater and the disappearance of loose debris in one set of images indicate they were taken at a later time and possibly modified. The position of the damaged pipe also changes, bending outward in one set and inward in another. In a post on Truth Dig, Postal claimed a White House intelligence report citing Syria as the source of the 2017 attack was fabricated to cover up the lack of intelligence supporting Trump's retaliatory cruise missile strike against Syria. He presented evidence in the form of a smart news agency video showing workers picking dead birds from a birdcage near the crater, some 30 hours after the sarin was supposedly released. Though the birds appeared to have just died from sarin exposure in the crater, workers at the site only wore face masks and gloves. Some were completely unprotected. Postal argues that the masks filter small particles from the air but provide no protection against sarin vapors or aerosols. Had sarin truly been present, its aerosol form would have condensed into the pores of the masks, evaporated into a lethal gas, and been inhaled by the workers.